Hey, Dennis. Yes. Uh, is today a good day? Uh, it's a wonderful day. A good day to do what? Go to the movies! No. What? What, what oh. movie are we seeing? Oh. A, oh. Good, a good day to do what? Well, we need to call Ryan for that. A good day to die... What is it? No, it's not again. Wait, I forgot what it was now. <laughs> okay, let's switch roles here. You ask me if it's a good day. Hey, John, is it a good day? Yes, it is. And then they'll say, uh, a good day to do what? A good day for what? A good day to die hard. <laughs> right now, we're going to go see a good day to die hard. So I heard some really bad things about this movie, but you know what? It's Die Hard, and I gotta give it a chance. We're men. We have to give Die Hard, yes. any Die Hard, a chance. Any Die Hard, James Bond, or, or Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, a chance. I missed The Last Stand. I'm really sorry. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I'll probably like it, considering I like bad movies, but <laughs> if it's that bad, they're saying. I don't know. Yeah, they're saying this is the Batman and Robin of the Die Hard, so... Probably I'm gonna love favorite. it. It'll be my favorite. You get to see Bruce Willis's <laughs> nipples. What are you gonna get? Um, 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 a junior waffle. And what, are you gonna get anything? No, oh I'm gosh! Where's the drive? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I just. Oh, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> How are you gonna? Are you really gonna go for it? Oh my god. Um. Am I good? It's gonna be Austin Powers. It's gonna be. <laughs> oh, it's open. Crap, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Hello, Gavin. What? Hello. Can I have a uh, one junior whopper with no onions? Do you still have the mushroom burger? No, we don't have any more. Ah! That's okay. I'll just have the junior whopper then. Okay, I only got a whopper junior. So this is not that exciting. And usually I get a lot of candy. Usually I'm loaded, but today is simple because we don't have that much time. We're outside the Buffalo Grove Theaters. It's the cheapest one we have around here for a reason. It's a crappy theater. Oh, that's mean. What if they're what? No. No one watches this video. We'll see after the movie and we'll tell you what we think. Ta-ta! It's hard finding a seat. Yeah, there's like no place to sit. Full house tonight. So this is the second day it's out, right? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Well, I'm glad I'm supporting it. Is anyone else seeing this movie? Is it just us? <laughs> Dennis, why? We could make out back here and no one would know. Okay, well, if you change your mind, I'm right here. I'm gonna move a seat down now. <laughs> okay, I'll follow. So we just got out of the movie, and my initial thoughts are, hmm. 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 Seems to just sum it up. We'll elaborate in the car. It's freaking cool. Hello. What's up guys? Yeah, I know it's not the car. We decided to talk it out in the car and then gather our thoughts and I think luckily we're on the same page exactly. So I would sum it up like this. The action scenes were really good. Some really great memorable um, action scenes. Uh, every single dialogue scene was absolutely horrible. Bruce Willis sucks at, at acting in this movie. It's not just him, though. It's also the script. The script is awful and awkward. And it's a lot of the lines are repeated. He has this one one-liner. I'm on vacation! And I swear to God, that's from a different movie. I just can't think of it. Yeah. He just seems so disconnected from the movie. You don't really care about anything that's going on. You don't care about the characters. You don't even care about McLean. McLean's first scene in the movie is so... Boring. Uh, Bruce Willis is at, a, is at a shooting range. Some guy comes up to him, to Bruce Willis, and says, Hey, uh, your son is in Russia. He's in trouble. Oh, what's wrong? Well, is he in jail? Well, you know, he, he's been captured. It's just the most boring 
I'm like, this is it? This is the first time we see him? You know, nothing is nothing is funny. It just jumps right into the whole story. No, yeah, it just... It just there's, of, there's nothing to ease you into the whole movie. It just... It, it's like you just missed a whole ten minutes. And he was soft, too. It wasn't who you expected. Bruce yeah, he was, was not, he it, was not a leader in this movie. The son was kind of a very, a very boring leader, and Bruce Willis like was he's kind getting of old or something like that. It's like a... Passing, passing the reins passing on the, passing of the torch. Yeah, but I, I hope that the son does not <laughs> uh, eventually take over because he is so boring. He cannot lead a movie. Okay, he cannot lead a movie. I mean, there's some scenes of dialogue where it it just feels like they're reading from a script. The way they're they're saying these lines, horrible, and the lines themselves, horrible. But again, I mean, there's some cool action scenes. At the end, it gets kind of crazy with the CGI and the green screens and all that. They kind of overdid it. Overall, it's not a horrible movie, but there's a lot of horrible parts. You know what, actually? I think it is a horrible movie, actually. <laughs> the action does not redeem the rest of the movie. I do not recommend this at all. In fact, right now it's about 1.30 uh, a.m. We're going to watch Die Hard 2, just yeah. to get this out of our minds. Yeah, I thought to make up for it, we should watch any one of them. It would work, so. Yeah, I said the second. I haven't seen the second one in a long time. So, obviously, I think I would rank the movies, uh, the first one, then Die Hard 2. But Die Hard 2, I almost, I think I like as, as much as the first one. i got to see it again. And then Live For Your Die Hard, and then Die Hard with a Vengeance, I think. And then, oh, of course, <laughs> a good day <laughs> to Die Hard. I mean, watching all the other Die Hards, and then this, if I just watched this, I would have never watched all the other ones. Oh, yeah. I would have been so turned off right away and been like, how did this even get to a fifth movie? I don't know. If you saw it, tell us what you think. If you liked it, I wish I was you. Because I really wanted to like this, you know? I'm even afraid to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. And you know what? But I'm getting them all. Now, I mean, now, that's, now, that's where it's like, do we just... No, 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 no. <laughs> now I can get the box set because I don't want this one. Because the box set is just one through four. Unless they make a sixth one, I can just get this one. You know so I mean? you're just going to do the box set, and then if they come out with the six, you're just going to buy the six. I'll just, I'll hold off, and then when the six comes out, I'll just be like, do you have a box set of one through four and six? <laughs> Actually, we do. It's called, the <laughs> it's called the Good Taste Die Hard box set. I like oranges. I know I you like do. I like orange. Oh, oranges. We're already ten minutes into Die Hard 2, Die Harder. I think Bruce Willis has already said more in this movie, ten minutes into it, than he did in A Good Day to Die Another Day, whatever it's called. Yeah. Maybe he's alive too. in this movie. He has a pulse. He's like, he's he's a character. He actually swears. Yeah, and you believe him when he <laughs> swears. Like, it's it's cool when he swears in, in this movie. He's just like an old man muttering to himself. Uh, this is already a better movie. We could stop it now, but end it right now. It'd be a better movie than Good Day. Agreed. I say good day to good day. Good day. Good day. I don't know if this also bothers you guys, but like, you know that blue tint or like that darker tint uh, that they put on uh, newer movies? I think that's, I mean, it's a common thing. But they do it for a good day to die hard. And for some reason, it really bothered me. I think it bothered you too. Yeah, no, it did. That, and that now that does. we're watching this, a movie that's like, their skin is actually look, looks like my skin, it's peach. And it's more colorful. It's just, it feels more alive and more engaging and more interesting to me. I mean, the whole movie takes place in Russia. Russia is already a really depressing, dark-looking place. Add that tint. You make it just, even more depressing. It's just, you don't like to look at it. It's just not something you want to look at. It. So John this stayed awake tower. during the fifth yeah. one, Radar but the second one, he fell asleep. John... John. What I usually do is when someone falls asleep, I'd start stacking pillows on them, and this is where I'm at so far. John! John! 
Even poking him doesn't wake him up. God, please. <laughs> Guess I'll just keep watching the movie until he wakes up. Okay, so John really seems to be enjoying his new home because now he's snoring even more. Oh. What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> you awake in there? <laughs> Come on, emerge! <laughs> go back to sleep <laughs> so I just finished Die Hard 2 I was um, right here with you yeah some of us kind of didn't make it all the way through so y'all have a good night or a morning whatever it is say goodbye John orangutans <laughs>